Hey guys, uh, today I'm bringing you another tutorial on hotkeys. This one was originally going to be on the Castle Age, but uh, I've been having trouble with the scripting on that, so... Yeah, uh, this one's actually going to be on hotkeys, and uh, right off the bat, I'm going to show some universal hotkeys that I know of, uh, and uh, you can press H and it takes you to your town center. Even if you're away from your town center, it still locks your view on your town center every time you press H. So that's handy. Uh, that's the only officially universal hotkey I know. Uh, I think there might be some that are also universal, like pressing G uh, for garrison, but uh, I don't want to garrison those guys. So, and uh, yeah. So, uh, Right off the bat, I'm actually going to show you the hotkey screen in case yours are different, or, well, mine are different from yours. Uh, I only changed a few, and that was one of the game commands. I changed it from F9 so I can actually record with fraps. Uh, but that is it. Uh, that's all I know I changed. Um, and, yeah, there's like different subcategories of just random, well, not random, but like pretty organized actually but there's a lot of hotkeys here and uh, one for like all the buildings and stuff well all the important buildings um, as you might say but uh, that's it uh, you might want to change your hotkeys if you're left-handed or something um, I'll actually explain that later on um, but the first thing is I'm going to show you about control groups and uh, I have my scout here, um, and I can press Control One. Well, press Control and One at the same time is what I mean. But uh, yeah, uh, basically, once you have a control group, I can like scroll away from where the scout is, and then I can press One twice, like double tap it, and it takes me right to the scout. And if I am looking away, also if I just press it once, it'll only select the scout, and I can like move him to my screen over here. But, uh, I don't want to do that. We're just going to send him over here while I explain the main hotkeys for buildings. Now, right here I have all, there's all of these buildings right here. And, uh, also the delete key and G for garrison, of course. And, uh, de delete is for killing. Repairing is D. That one doesn't really make sense, and neither do the military and economic buildings. But uh, the economic buildings by default is A. And no, I didn't click that. I'll even do it again. A, and then I, if I press W, uh, it'll bring up my mill, which is what I want to build by my berries. Uh, basically, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Basically, the uh, buildings section for both military and economic buildings is just like the left hand side of your keyboard moved onto the screen with different icons and uh, so basically up here is Q W E R T down here is A S D F G uh, F and G are monastery and uh, university respectively but uh, and then down here is town center which is Z and over here, I think, is Wonder, which is X, or maybe that's right here, but either way, it's X, and I almost know that for a fact, uh, if you are using the default Steam hotkeys. I don't know about Age of Conquerors hotkeys, like the actual CD-ROM version, because I wasn't much of a hotkeyer when I played that version, but yeah. So right here, I'm going to build a mill with this lady by pressing A and W. But uh, since I already placed down the mill, I'm going to move this guy away so I can actually have space to build. Uh, I'm going to press A again, and E for mining, well, a mining camp. I'm going to do the same for her. Um, and then these two guys are going to be lumberjacks. You can press A and R for a uh, lumber camp. And there we go. So as they're building these their uh, respective buildings, I can double tap one. And it brings me to my scout who found some sheep. And sheep, well, actually any unit you want can uh, be put in control groups. And uh, like the scout, uh, 
that's part of the group name. You can actually put multiple units in a group. Uh, if you're new to real-time strategies, you probably didn't know this, but uh, yeah. So if I press 2, it brings me to the actual group, and I can send them back. And I'm going to send my scout back. And there we go. So yeah, those are the building uh, and control groups. And now we're actually just going to test hotkeys um, in general. Uh, we're going to see how fast it is to actually use your hotkey to actually like clicking and dragging the well not dragging but clicking and choosing the building you want and then placing it down so we're gonna do that with her Olden. and you're going to build like that now this one is going to win because she started building earlier but remember this is actually the placement time that counts hers took a lot longer to place down if I needed a house immediately that would have been like milliseconds off and that's just more time you end up being housed. Now this guy almost had equal time with her building because just because I pressed A and Q really fast. And uh, it's really easy to do. And there we go. Uh, so that's pretty much it for hotkeys. Uh, pretty basic video. I know a lot of you guys already knew this but there's like really new players to this game that didn't know. Uh, Actually, even some experienced players who didn't end up going competitive or hardcore in multiplayer matches or anything. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's actually a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube videos who actually don't, don't use hotkeys. And hotkeys make your game a lot quicker, and they can end up being a game changer, because whoever the faster player is, is probably going to win. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Next episode will be on the Castle Age, and uh, I'm sorry I didn't get that out this video, it's just I've been having trouble scripting, as I already said, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, bye.